I'm Chris. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm looking at two different workarounds to get around the fact that at the moment Neural Lamp Modular AK and AM uh, doesn't work in stereo. This is meant to change at some point, but at the moment we've got just mono, so these are a couple of ways to work around it. Now, note these are sort of quick, sort of relatively easy ways to use as a proof of concept or whatever. I wouldn't recommend using either of these to actually record with or put on anything that you're putting out to the world, but I will be looking at something, a couple of more advanced things in the next video. So if you're interested in finding out more about how you can almost get to the, the level of double tracking a guitar with just a single track, subscribe to the channel and I'll cover that next video. So the first configuration is basically dual mono. Let's have a look at that. So we've got a, a neural lamp modeler instance with a capture loaded, no IR selected in the in NAM itself. The other thing to note in the plugin pin connector, uh, this will obviously vary from door to door, but this is how Reaper does it. Uh, I've got it set so that that plugin is only going to be using the left channel. So the right channel isn't going to be used whatsoever. Okay, so moving on to the net IR ladder. As usual, I've got the resonance put down to zero. I've got the low pass set all the way up to 22K. And I've got two different IRs loaded, one on each side. So the two important things to note here, one is that I've got a small delay on the right hand side so that it makes it a little bit different, not a lot, but a little bit. Oh, three things. I've got dual mono configuration in the routing. And I've also set the pins such that the input one is copied to both left and right inputs. And then one and two go back out as per usual. Finally, just got a Hornet VU meter after gain staging. So any demos I'm going to be playing, I'll play with stems because my computer doesn't handle NAM and OBS at the same time. So let's have a listen to what that sounds like. And also take note of when I demonstrate on isolate and the goniometer as to basically how track mono the track is. <laughs> So not the ideal solution, but if you don't have the resources to run more than one instance of NAM at once for whatever you're doing, say tracking or something like that, then at least that's slight improvement on full on mono. So the second approach is basically just a variant of the first one. So now what we've got, we've now got two separate instances of NAM and two, two different captures. Then we've got much the same, the same, much the same IR setup as last time. Different one left and right. Slight delay on the right hand side one. And a VU meter for gain staging afterwards. So let's have a listen to what that sounds like. So definitely an improvement over the previous approach. We were seeing some sort of phase sort of issues being introduced by that way that we're doing it. But in terms of getting an idea of what it's going to sound like in in stereo or with a proper double track sort of situation, it's definitely a good start. So just for the sake of comparison, 
So this is the same configuration as last time, but using a, a double track track on one of the other ones rather than the same DI on both. And so this is what this sounds like. So definitely much sort of thicker sort of sides and less sort of phasing sort of issues as you could see. So actual double tracking, obviously the superior choice when you have the option, but in a pinch, these two approaches are very useful. That's about it for this video. Let me know what you think below or if you've got any other tricks for relatively simple NAM stereo workarounds and I'll see you in the next video.